New York City, a city full of aspirations, ambitions, and a history that is never to be forgotten. On the surface, we see this pride of the United States thriving since everyone from famous rappers to the successful finance guys want to enjoy the luxuries and the lifestyle. But beneath this huge city, there's a massive problem that's threatening New York's sustainability and the ability to remain one of the best cities in the United States of America. You see, rising sea levels have been a major cause of many floods around the world. For example, when you search the city of Jakarta, the first thing you're going to see is the news about floods. That city, while it is the capital of Indonesia, is now sinking due to the rising sea problem. However, with New York being one of the most successful cities in the United States, it is facing the same issue. With the rising seawater level, New York is slowly shrinking, and to make it worse, the housing prices there are going through the roof. I'm sure you've seen memes on the internet about that. However, what if there was a single solution to fix both of these issues? This solution will not only fix New York's biggest problems, but will also take decades to build and cost the city a whopping $30 billion. Join us on this journey as we delve deep into New York's plans to expand into the sea, confront the rising sea levels, and balance the rent and housing prices. But before we do so, make sure to subscribe to the channel for the latest mega projects related videos. To understand the severity of this issue, we must understand the structure of Manhattan itself. If you've never actually seen it, there's a lot to cover here. Moving to the center of New York, there's a 60 square kilometer island surrounded by various rivers. For example, you have the Hudson to the west, the Harlem to the north, and the East River. Well, obviously to the east of New York. But when it comes to the popular, Manhattan is one of the most crowded places you can think of. With over 1.6 million people living on this island, this is one of the most populous places in New York. To put this into perspective, that's like 30,000 people per square kilometer. Isn't that crazy? However, things get progressively worse during work hours when there is traffic, pollution, and just pure chaos surrounding the city. It's like there's no peace left. But then again, the buildings there are quite vertical to fit the large number of people. The island is full of skyscrapers and skyline buildings that might give your neck some cramps. For example, you have the Empire State Building, the Central Park Tower, and the most popular one of them all, the World Trade Center, which is the seventh tallest building in the world. However, Manhattan is not only expanding upwards, but also in its sheer sides. That's because the modern Manhattan is at least 25% more than the original island that was there when Europeans first arrived. But now, things are about to change. Manhattan's less space, the issue with rising sea levels, the ability to expand, and everything else is about to change with the new Manhattan. This is the new plan for our original Manhattan and its biggest expansion yet. This expansion will change the world with its innovations, plans, and sheer benefit to the economy. What's crazy is that it would cost around $30 billion, which is a figure now, but at the time of completion, it might even be 10 times that, which is the talk of the time now. When we talk about the new project, it's all the work of Jason Barr, a professor in Newark. In 2022, this genius wrote an opinion piece for the New York Times that fully depicted his idea. His plan? Well, seven square meters of extra land. That's what Jason Barr proposed, and while it might seem like a small improvement, it would have caused so much innovation that Manhattan won't be recognized anymore, even to the early visitors who paved the way for it to become one of the U.S.'s most unique islands of all time. This means there will be a 10% extension to the existing island, and this will happen by stretching south into the waters of New York Harbor. This new land will also cover the land of the Governor's Island, which comes in the way. To make it interesting, this new island will incorporate housing in all shapes and sizes. From small apartment buildings to high-rise skylines, 
that would make the island even more soothing to look at, you will find anything there is. According to Barr, things were getting progressively difficult with New York's ever-growing population, and now this was the perfect solution for the city to ease the pressure of visitors and the overwhelming number of citizens that resided there. This may not seem like a big deal to most, but at the start of the 21st century, there were only 3 million people in New York City. But now, with the century passing, the number has also passed 8.3 million. To make it worse, New York is a city that has the most visitors, compared to other big cities like LA, Chicago, and even Houston. But now, there's an even bigger issue. The current housing projects in New York are having a lot of difficulty to keep up with the demands during the tough times. Higher housing, more people moving in, and the prices going crazy, things don't seem too good even if the COVID-19 eased the issue a little bit. Does it not seem like that big of an issue? Well, thankfully for you, we have just the digit that would make you go wow thinking if this is even real life. An average New York citizen would pay around $4,000 just to get an apartment, which doesn't make sense even for rich people. To put things into perspective, this number is more than double the national average of the United States and triple or four times the national average of pay in some Asian countries. But with the new Manhattan Project, things would ease further as it would provide homes for a quarter of a million people. And for now, we are hearing the news that it would be priced relatively affordably too. But the new Manhattan isn't just a solution to overpopulation. It will also give New York a much needed breathing space thanks to relieving the issues caused by climate change. Climate change is a serious problem in the whole world, and it seems like New York might just be the next victim of things like flooding. You see, studies have even found that the Atlantic Ocean's circulation could change in the next decade, which is a big issue since New York is at the forefront of the ocean. If anything bad occurs, it would literally hit New York, causing a lot of problems due to climate change. And we're not just talking about the upcoming issues. Rather, these issues are already here. In 2012, Hurricane Sandy caused many parts of the city to suffer power loss that was experienced by over 2 million people. From subways, homes, workplaces, restaurants, sports areas, and anything you can ever imagine, everything was flooded in an instant. This was the first wave of the upcoming issues, so this really makes us wonder, how much will this issue affect New Yorkers in the next decades? Imagine the sea level rises even more and another storm like Sandy arrives. I'm sure we don't even want to imagine it. Now, when we talk about the solutions, according to Jason Barr, the extended land of Manhattan will act like a buffer and push all the vulnerable places of New York inward, protecting it from future floods or at least bringing down the intensity. And while it's true that this new land would become the forefront of the island, it is also true that this island could be built at a higher elevation to especially cater to the issues of climate change. Many sources claim that an elevation of around 4 meters would be enough to fight against the rising sea levels and have the best possible way to cater to the new land. The new Manhattan will also have the Big U Project, which is a 10-mile area which could act as everything to the project. The funding is coming directly from New York City, and this project will cover the whole of New York, also in a way where it would battle flooding. This area will also have a lot of recreational spaces for visitors and the citizens residing in this area. But all in all, the plan to expand New York into the sea will save the city from two major issues, the economic imbalance and climate control. What do you think about the new master plan? Will it thrive or is the solution too unrealistic for today's standards? Let us know in the comments and subscribe to watch the latest mega project related videos.